Hello, I'm here to taste another whiskey. This is going to be my first whiskey of the night. And uh, I've done this one before, but it was probably a different barrel because it's a Caribou Crossing single barrel. Single barrel. And this is probably a different single barrel from the single barrel I had a couple of years earlier. I'm going to pour a dram. This Canadian whiskey bottled at 40% alcohol by volume. Mm. This looks tricky. Oh no, maybe it's not so bad. Just got one of these things that flips out and then it's got a baggie and a little caribou on the top. It's kind of like a Blanton's in, in that way. And uh, I learned that this is from the same parent company as Blanton's, so that's why they have a caribou on the top there, which is kind of like the horse on a Blanton's. All right, let's get this out of the baggie. Nice fancy bottle. And the reason I bought this again was because it tasted really good last time. Even though it's only 40%, you know, it's very pleasant whiskey. And I think it's going to be pleasant again tonight. Here's my bill of sale from the Premium Spirits release, which is where I got this. Um, Caribou Crossing, here it is. $104.99. Single barrel. One time is 750 mils, so 140, 104, 90, 105, so that would be 1050 for uh, liquor tax. Uh, 1050 and uh, 5.25 for goods and services taxes, plus a dime for the bottle deposit, plus the 104.99. That comes out to $120.84 out the door. A little steep. A little steep, but it's kind of exclusive. It's uh, a single barrel after all, and probably about $20 goes towards the bottle and the mousse on the top and the baggie and all that crap. Oh yeah, let's pour a dram first. This is, uh, got these little little things that you break off. It's got a, a wax seal. Ah, and I think I got the wax seal off. There it is. There's the little caribou. Oh, that came off easy. And we'll put this in a glass. Here we are. What does it say on here? Like the long seasonal journeys taken each year by the majestic caribou herds of North America, this bottle of Caribou Crossing Single Barrel Canadian Whiskey has been on a journey of its own. Caribou Crossing Single Barrel has been painstakingly handcrafted by our expert whiskey making team which has selected the finest whiskey available. The whiskey has been patiently aged in oak for many years to give it a rich and complex yet smooth flavor. Each barrel is then bottled individually with expert care and skill under rigorous quality standards. A new Canadian whiskey as bold and adventurous as the great caribou who roam the wild Caribou Crossing is a Canadian whiskey unequaled by any other. Hmm. I remember it was real good when I had it last time.
This should appeal to novices and more experienced uh, whiskey drinkers as well with a penchant for something easygoing. There's a little bit of that corn sweetness, but it's not overly sweet on the nose. It's a little bit of rye, rye spice, just a bit. And maybe there's some malted barley in there as well. There might be some malted barley, maybe a bit of wheat as well. It doesn't say it's not very transparent. It just says that it's uh, available in limited quanti quantities at selected stores. Sazerac of Canada, Inc., Montreal, Quebec, Canada. There you go. And this is only available here at the uh, Premium Spirits release in November. And the date of that was, what day in November was it, the 5th? Um, uh, 14th of November 2020. That was the Premium Spirits release. So, participating BC liquor stores, uh, BC government liquor stores, uh, so, some of them had this. Some of them probably didn't. Trails of droplets going down. The more I nose this, the more pleasant and perfumey it is. But not overly perfumey. It's just some corn, rye, rice spice, corn sweetness. Like I said, I don't know if there's any wheat involved, but there's probably some malted barley. Let's uh, give it a taste. The nose is pleasant. Typically Canadian, too. Ooh, slippery alkaline mouthfeel. Beautiful, spicy. Now that I'm tasting, there's the corn sweetness, and there's spicy rye. I think there's some wheat in here too. It it, it has that that wheat kind of. I'd call it the opposite of a tang, but it has some of that. And it fades a medium finish. The spices fade. They're still there a little bit. Still there a little bit from that first sip. But they're fading. For 40%, that's a long finish. Uh, have a little bit of water. I would not add water to this. I would leave it alone because it's good as it is. A nice whiskey to start the evening with. Maybe to share with friends who are not really whiskey drinkers. And this would uh, very likely make whiskey drinkers out of a few people who've never had whiskey and try this for the first time. Mm. Velvety, smooth, alkaline mouthfeel, and sweetness, and then it transitions 
It transitions to spice all around the tongue and coats the roof of the mouth. Spices. And I think the spices that I'm getting are probably, there are elements of wheat flavor in there, and there, there's elements of rye flavor in there. So, and then it just kind of fades away slowly, slowly fades away, and I'm still tasting it, it's still there. It's nice and easy drinking. It's light, and as far as Canadian whiskeys go, even though it's only 40% alcohol by volume, I think it's worth the $104 plus tax. Cheers. Food quick. <laughs> Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>